Good evening, everyone. Our last break of the night is going to be 2018 Panini Limited Football. Pick your team number five. Wednesday the 30th. Big thanks to everybody who got in. Big thanks to everyone who's staying up late with me right now to either watch this break or if you're even if you're in this break. Thank you very much, everyone. I am exhausted, and that's a sign of a, of a great day, boys and girls. That means we did a lot of breaks. It was pretty nonstop. I think we've been breaking nonstop all day long. So thank you very much, everybody, for, for getting into it on jazpiececasebreaks.com. I, of course, will be back tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll do this all over again. We're out of, we're, this is our last case of limited. We are, we are all out for the time being, but we are planning to get more. I think more is already on the way. So there'll be, keep your eye out on jazpiececasebreaks.com. Especially if you missed out on your teams the first time. Don't miss out next time. There's seven, seven right there. All right, so thanks, everybody. What a night. Looks like people like the limited football, judging from how quickly it sold out. Three packs per box right here. I know, we'll, we'll try to get more. It's always, always tough, especially if it's good, then it becomes even harder to get more of a certain product. All right, let's use these blank cards right here to hide the hits. Got a plate on the bottom. And the plate is going to be Big Ben Rothsberger printing plate. Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain and his Steelers. Starting the break off with a All Aboard! Whoop whoop! With an All Aboard the Big Hit Express. All right. Bam. We got Mike Kosicki. 44 out of 50 rookie auto for the Dolphins. Arthur on the board with the Finns. There you go, AP. Then we got Bam. Primetime relic Devontae Adams. 56 out of 75 for Scott V and the Packers. And the redemption is, bam, DJ Moore, rookie patch autograph for Carolina, Eric Wyant. For the Panthers. Remember how Cam Newton got surgery on his shoulder? We were discussing this, folks, in the middle of the season. That, that, because Carolina went on, they started the season kind of rough. Then they went on a decent run. And then they went on a not-so-good run. And then Cam Newton started to not look like really himself. That's what it was. He was carrying a bit of an injury. I wouldn't be surprised if they said the same thing about, like, Drew Brees. I mean, I, you can obviously point to age for Drew Brees, but... Breeze wasn't throwing as much or as effectively as he had in the beginning of the season. We'll see what happens with my Raiders. The draft is our Super Bowl. There's Roquan Smith to 99. People have asked me, Joe, who do you think, who do you think your Raiders should uh, should draft? I'm like, man, I've got so many holes in that team. <laughs> Another redemption. Best available at every draft position. There's Royce Freeman 
rookie phenoms relic for the Broncos, Patrick K. And that's all I can really say. I mean, it's just like best available. Whoever's out there, can he help? The, can he add to the team? I'll bet most most everyone would. Redemption is Hayden Hurst, our first Hayden Hurst sighting. Rookie patch autographs, gold spotlight for Sean and the Baltimore Ravens. Think what Nick Bosa, Kevin Manning suggesting. I don't know if he's gonna. I think Raiders have like the fourth overall pick, fourth or fifth. I don't think. I don't. Do you think Nick Bosa is gonna drop to like four? Wait, let's take a let's take a look at one of my favorite websites this time of year. Walter Football usually has they do mock drafts almost every other day for funsies. Yeah, Raiders have the fourth pick. You gotta think Nick Bosa goes number one. You gotta think Nick Bosa goes one. And that's the Cardinals. Has have the number one pick. I mean Unless the Cardinals, I mean, who else would they would they take? I mean, I guess it's kind of a defense, looking like a defensive sort of draft in the top handful of picks. We'll, we'll read off what Walter Football thinks after this box. There's Doug Baldwin to 49. And we'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those serial numbered cards before they go out, of course. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by those. There's Jair Alexander, JA to 199. It's his autograph. That goes to Scott and the Packers. There's Cortland Sutton, three color patch and autograph. Uh, out of 50, 8 out of 50, a little bit lower number there than what we usually seen. Ta no, Patrick with the Broncos. Yeah, Thomas's name is right above that. And we've got rookie phenoms, Michael Gallup, 15 out of 99. Yeah, well, Cardinals need a lot of help too, but I mean, I, I think I think from all indications, it seems like, it seems like there's really no receiver that's certainly going to demand a number one overall pick, right? When's the last time a receiver's been a number one pick? Uh, according to WalterFootball.com, the Cardinals have just one viable edge rusher in Chandler Jones, and given that they're in a division with Russell Wilson, Jared Goff, Garoppolo, Jones isn't nearly enough on his own. Fortunately for the Cardinals, they can remedy the problem by selecting the current favorite to go number one, Nick Bosa. So that's what they think. Then they think for the Niners... Uh, Quinn and Williams, defensive tackle from Alabama. You think they think is going to go second. Jets will go with uh, uh, Kentucky Josh Allen, who is a defensive end linebacker type. And then fourth, Walter Football thinks WalterFootball.com thinks that the, that Rashawn Gary, defensive end, defensive tackle from Michigan, would uh, would go there. So. That's what they think. Out of 25, Carson Wentz for the Eagles. We got Denzel Ward. Uh, 70 out of 99. Rookie auto for the Browns. Ken Goldberg with that one. Thank you, Ken, for getting in. Maybe we'll find a Baker in here somewhere. Then we've got Rookie Phenoms Relic, Darius Geis, 95 out of 99. That goes to Patrick and the Redskins, and the RPA is Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Two-color patch and autograph, 109 out of 299 for Scott and the Packers. Nice one, Scott. They're projecting that... Um, Dwayne Haskins, quarterback for uh, from Ohio State, will go to the Giants at six. Uh, 
Although they're suggesting, WalterFootball.com suggesting that it's unlikely the Giants would actually take a quarterback at that sixth spot. They're gonna, they, they might trade out of it. Possibly. Yeah, Smith. Um, brand new release today. So this is this is what's on everyone's mind today. This or optic, Donner's optic basketball. Yeah, Giants do need a QB. I don't know why, but they, they've been drafting QBs. The Kyle Laletta this last year. Have they just been drafting backup QBs? Davis Webb? Where is he? Is Dwayne Haskins going to be the guy maybe? There's Kenyon Drake to 49. Or maybe they... I don't know. I don't know what they'd do. There's John Kelly autograph at a 199 for the Rams. Thomas with the Rams. It's possible that uh, they wouldn't get Joe Flacco's a free. They wouldn't get Joe Flacco, would they? Unless they feel like they can get someone else at the number six spot. And then go with a more vet QB. There's Michael Gallup. Two color patch and autograph at a 125. Nice one for the Cowboys. That'll be for Thomas. Nick Foles, right. Could, could Nick Foles go to the Giants? I mean, the Eagles have to trade Nick Foles now this season, right? There's Kelvin Benjamin, three-color game day swatch, 17 out of 20. That'll be for Rick Barker and the Bills. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Nick Foles goes. Because last year, you know, you could say, hey, we got to keep Nick Foles as – as a very experienced backup, you know Carson Wentz may not be quite ready from the injury, but at this point, you know they wouldn't. I think you could reasonably assume that at the end of the Super Bowl last year, you could be like Nick Foles' value will never be higher than what it is now, right? And for a moment, I think that was true. Everyone's like, oh, they should have traded him in the summer when they had the chance. Blah blah blah. Didn't start the season off that great, but then really, really kind of revived the team at the end of uh, this past season, this current season. I think his value actually might have gone up. So at this point, the Eagles have to trade him. There's no way they're keeping Nick Foles over Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is not being traded. Carson Wentz, he's far younger. He's a big draft pick. I mean, they're... Doesn't make sense to keep Nick Foles. But someone wants Nick Foles. Someone's going to want him. There is Boston Scott, rookie auto for the Saints. That'll be for Mark Nation. All right, where does Blake Bortles land? See, so I don't know. Maybe the Giants think they could they could kind of manage with a Foles or a Bortles even. There's Tyler Lockett, Limitless Relic, and then improve elsewhere on the team. Offensive line, wide receivers, defense, who knows? I mean, maybe maybe they they could think that and then just kind of patch together the quarterback position for a couple seasons with Bortles maybe or Foles. Sony Michelle, nice Sony Michelle. Nice four-color patch and autograph. 39 out of 99. Sony Michelle going to the Patriots. Karen Steele and her Patriots. Someone was saying earlier, Karen, that uh, that um, Sony Michelle, someone, some offshore book, had his MVP odds at like sixteen to one, plus sixteen hundred, I think. And I was like, that's actually not bad. Put a couple bucks on that. A little lottery scratcher money on that. See what happens. Anyway, nice Sony Michelle Karen. Not sure. Looking at this draft list right there, Drew Locke could go to the Broncos at 10. That could be an interesting choice. Missouri's Drew Locke. Seems like a lot of defense being uh, in this mock draft, according to WalterFootball.com. A lot of linemen being taken.
13th overall, Kyler Murray for the Dolphins, maybe. That could be interesting. There's Christian McCaffrey to 99. We got Bradley Chubb. Nice. Jersey and auto, 256 out of 299. Where does the kid, where do you honestly think the kid from Duke goes? What? Which kid from Duke? I don't follow enough college, so. You think the pa Patriots are going to look at Kyler Murray? I, f I feel like the, Bill Simmons says this all the time. He thinks that the Patriots should have should have taken um, 29 out of two, uh, 149, Kaiser White. Bill Simmons always says in, the po in his podcast that, um, that the Patriots should have taken Lamar Jackson when they had a chance. Oh, there's a QB from Duke? I have no idea. Oh, they, they've got him. WalterFootball.com has Daniel Jones from Duke going 15th, possibly to the Redskins. And there's Deshaun Hamilton for the Broncos. That could be interesting. All right, that's another one for Patrick Kay and Denver. Next box. We're about halfway through this full case break, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last break of the night. We'll be back tomorrow. But stick with me tonight. Let's see what we get in this break. We still haven't seen the book yet. Oh, I think it's right here. There it is. Book it. Doug Baldwin to 99. We've got, speaking of the Redskins, there's Darius Geis, 4 out of 75. Yeah, I mean, Redskins have to take a quarterback, right? There's Kike Kuti. Nice three-color patch and autograph. 30 out of 299. Battled some injuries this season, but... When he was on the field, he seemed to have a good connection with Deshaun Watson. Jared, the swam with the Texans. There you go, Jared. And the book is going to be Colts colors, Giants colors, Bills colors. Tremaine Edmonds, draft day signatures, 14 out of 55. Nice. Two-color jersey and his autograph. That jersey is actually from that night. There you go. Uh, Rick Barker with the Bills. There you go, Rick. Well, Rick's been on a bit of a cold streak the last week or so. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. Big hits to come. All right. Next box. Ten out of ten, Keenan Allen. There you go. Yeah, Rick Barker's like he needs a needs that Josh Allen next. We've got Deshaun Hamilton, three color patch and autograph to twenty five. Patrick Kay with the Broncos.
Whoa! What about this Rick Barker? It's not Josh Allen. Is this okay though? One out of five partnerships, triple auto, Jim Kelly, Andre Reed, Bruce Smith. Out of five, train whistle. That'll do. Yeah, absolutely. Rick Barker's like, absolutely, that'll do. Rick, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo woo! There you go. See, this is an example, an example of uh, of perseverance, kind of paying off with a nice hit right here. Nice, that's strong. And then we got Andy Dalton, two color jersey, seven out of twenty. Um, WalterFootball.com. Right, as Kevin Manning said, Tua doesn't come out until next year. Or can't come out until next year? Isn't coming out until next year. Rumor is that, uh, that Raiders brass, i.e. John Gruden, has an eye for, for Tua. I'm trying to look at other, like, it's been a lot of, I'm looking at WalterFootball.com's mock draft. Seems to be defense heavy, offensive line heavy. I mean, this is obviously a very early mock draft, so we don't know what these picks are going to change all the time. But, I mean, for the hobby, we need we need more more uh, sexy skill positions, you know, in the first round. Like A.J. Brown from Ole Miss, wide receiver from Ole Miss, who Walter Football has going at 19 to the Titans. We need more quarterbacks up there, running backs, tight ends. TJ Hawkinson, tight end from Iowa, maybe going to the Seahawks. Maybe Josh Jacobs of Alabama going to the Ravens. There we go. I want to see more of that. We have DeAndre Baker for, for the Raiders, who have the 24th pick, and another safety for the 27th pick. Maybe DK Metcalf, full miss. Need that. Need more guys like that. They've got Irv Smith Jr., possibly, for uh, from tight end from Alabama, going to the Patriots. I think the Patriots will definitely draft a tight end at some point in the draft. There's Joe Mixon to 99. This might this next draft may be a year where um, where we'll see a lot of uh, second, third, fourth round talent really emerging hobby wise. Another multi auto. Three out of five. Shaquille Griffin. Shaquem Griffin. Nice. The Griffin Brothers. And that one goes to Arthur and the Seahawks. Last spot mojo. Nice. Arthur, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice one, AP. Then we got Prime Time. Nice patch there, 12 out of 50. Yeah, this case is heating up nicely. That goes to the Saints. That'll be for Mark Nation. Nice Michael Thomas. And then we got a Mark Walton two-color jersey and autograph, 12 out of 25. Nice. Next box. There's a redemption in that middle stack right there. Jordan Howard's 99. <laughs> Thomas F. also using the cold streak strategy. Just noticed that. Royce Freeman, 40 out of 50, two color patch, an autograph. As for Patrick K. Nice. 
And Cortland Sutton, rookie phenoms. <laughs> You're throwing in the towel, Thomas? We only got a few boxes left. Got a plate of the whistle. And Hayden Hurst is your rookie patch autograph silver spotlight. Ravens, Sean Cole with that. Yeah, Arthur Arthur picked the picked the Hawks up about an hour and a half ago. Stealing your hits, Tice. Supposed to be for you or Kyle Kramer. And old Arthur swoops in. Five out of ten, Dak Prescott. That'll go to Thomas and the Cowboys. We got limited ink. Keelan Cole, 41 out of 99 for the Jags. Isaac with the Jaguars. Then we got James Washington, jersey and autograph, at a two ninety nine for Michael Gallucci. Steel curtain and the Steelers. Nice one, Mike. What do the Steelers do in the draft? Steelers got got to do something, right? Walter Football, Steelers of the twentieth pick, defensive end, outside linebacker. It's Cream Hunt, three out of fifty. Uh, Ja'Kai Polite, or Pilot, from Florida, is what they're initially thinking or this early in draft season. Well, defense, shore up that defense. You gotta, yeah, you gotta get something for Antonio Brown, right? I'm sure they'll get picks there. That'll be, that'll be an interesting narrative. They've got a bit of a window, too. I mean, Ben Roethlisberger not getting any younger. I mean, I think Big Ben can keep it going for a little bit longer, but if they're going to extend his career, you know, because age can come at you fast. Remember, Peyton Manning was throwing 5,000 yards and a zillion touchdowns one year, and then he had a noodle arm the next year. So they got to keep building around Big Ben if... They want to extend his career and then, you know, still be competitive, which they could be. Maybe, maybe classic sort of defense for the Steelers could be what gets him back. Yeah, let's go here. Titans, Dylan Dawkins, fifty out of sixty. Got too many hits blocking this paperwork here. Just too many hits, folks. That goes to Isaac and the Tennessee Titans. Baker Mayfield, two-color jersey and autograph. 39 out of 75. Ken Goldberg with the Browns. The dog pound. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. And Jaleel Scott, 60 out of 99, rookie phenom relic for Sean and the Ravens. Last box. Pick your team five, ladies and gentlemen. Our last case, you guys sold us out. 
of limited football, but keep your eye on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm pretty sure we have more on the way. I think that's what I've been that's what I was told earlier this evening that we there was more on the way. So keep your eyes peeled. Now you guys should be checking the website every day anyway. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Every morning. Coffee, cereal, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Turn off your alarm on your phone. You know, open your browser, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This has been quite a case, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good way to end the night. Dangerous to 99. And we've got Josie Jewell to 199 for the Denver Broncos. That's for Patrick K. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Mang's like, wow, you know my morning routine. And we've got Tyreek Hill, Limitless Relic, 13 out of 50 for the Chiefs. Thomas F. with that one. And last but not least, this should be the Patch and Auto. Wow, wow, what a case. 48 out of 50, Jersey and Auto, Sam Darnold for Nicholas Kasberg. Woo! This, this is the way to end it, boys and girls. Man, the, all the multi-autos, the book, the printing plates. Thanks, everybody. Limited Football 5 in the books. What a break. We'll see you next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.